been a while since I made a video or hopped up on here at all. And, um, you know, that's, that's a lot of things, a lot of reasons, um, a lot of things. So I want to hop up on here and, uh, you know, drop a video, a quick, quick video, and uh, just tell you guys a little bit about what's going on. So, as I mentioned in the, um, you know, that Amazon recovery video, uh, I was going to school for my CDO, so that took up a whole lot of my time. I did get it, and I got a surprise coming, and I will make a video on that. But um, anyways, so that took up a whole lot of time. And uh, another thing that a lot of people don't talk about is downtime. Um, that's what I'm experiencing this week and, you know, a little bit here and there lately. Uh, the flatbed's down, the wrecker's down, and they both need extensive repair. You know, not, not like engine, transmission, things like that. Um, you know, like the wrecker needs fuel lines replaced, you know, it needed tires you know, miscellaneous things like that. It's, it's an old truck, and that's the problem with running older equipment. You know, I, I'd rather pay money, you know, to fix these trucks and have them be paid for than pay, you know, $2,000 a month on a, on a loan on a newer truck and, uh, you know, be stuck with that payment. You know, you put 20K down on a new truck, you know, that's and then you pay 2,000 a month on it. That's the flip-flop. You're either paying mon monthly for repairs or you're paying monthly for a truck payment. And um, starting out, when I started this business, I was 25, 24, yeah, 24. So, you know, new business, 24, and I couldn't go get a loan. Um, so I had to buy older equipment, and uh, I bought that flatbed, my white 95 F800, and everything was junk. Um, <laughs> I'm not even kidding you. I had to do tires, I've done the transmission, uh, the clutch, uh, drive shaft front to back, you know, hydraulic control valve, everything on that truck. But luckily, you know, I'm mechanically inclined enough and the help of Jeremy, uh, you know, we managed to get these trucks continually back up in service. And um, that's what I wanted to post about today was just, you know, sometimes that's just how small business goes. You know, it, it's always an uphill battle and um, you just gotta persevere through it. You know, you can't just give up when things like this happen. I've had to turn down, you know, it's it's Thursday now and the trucks, I, I took the flatbed uh, down on Saturday. Um, the radiator went, it's been leaking for a while and uh, the leak was just getting too heavy. So I just took it out of service rather than the DOT do that for me. And unfortunately, I, uh, I ordered a radiator and it was not the right one. They sent me the incorrect one, so that, you know, extended the trucks out of service time. However, gives me time to catch up on other things. Um, and we'll get into that. I'll show you guys a little bit about what I'm doing. But um, this is normal. You know, it's normal for small businesses to have downtime like this for repairs. You know, whether it's building repairs or it's equipment repairs like vehicles or other equipment, it is common and it's not spoken about a lot because it's embarrassing and it's frustrating, uh, but it's life. And um, fortunately, I've been dealing with that a lot lately. So that's why I haven't been posting a lot of videos, but I do have some good content coming soon. I just ordered a whole bunch of, uh, you know, more GoPro equipment and stuff like that. Now that I'm done with school, I have a whole lot more time and um, gonna start getting into making videos more frequently I'm gonna try to make at least one to two videos a week and so if you guys want to see anything in particular let me know and I'll make that video I'm gonna make more like how to's and pretty much just like daily tow life things and uh, that's about it so without further ado I'm gonna go show you the trucks out in the shop and the wrecker outside and uh, tell you about what I'm doing to them and um, that's it all right so, as you see, it is a mess in here. Um, along with it being cold, we're in Massachusetts here, so I had to uh, spend an entire day getting my heater to work, and it still barely works. But anyways, so this truck is a 12-valve Cummins truck, and uh, like I said, the radiator went, and if anyone has ever done a radiator in one of these, you know, flip-nose setups, it's not easy it's not fun but it's not the worst so 
rip the whole truck apart to do that. Waiting on the radiator, like I said, should be here, you know, either today or tomorrow, honestly. And, uh, you know, doing a whole bunch of other maintenance things. Uh, it was due for new battery cable setup, so I'm running battery cables, you know, from the box all the way to the front. You know, new ground wire, new power wire. Also put a new starter on there as well. You know, just a lot of things. Doing all the fluids, doing an oil change, fuel filters, hydraulic filters. And uh, really just running through the whole thing before winter. Because winter is when I get my busiest. So, I'm going to get this thing back uh, together and that's it. These here, these are the wheels for the... Uh, the red wrecker outside and that's the car i will never finish so let me show you guys what's going on with the wrecker out there and there she is so this truck has been great since i got it uh low mile seventy two thousand miles so she has uh sat so you know the brakes aren't the prettiest so they need to be replaced. This one has a stuck caliper, as you see. Jeez, can't even move it. But you know, the truck's in great shape. Rockers, cab corners, low mileage truck. It has uh, 70, 71,000 miles, 7.3 diesel, and it's an automatic. But uh, this truck was due for, you know, all the tires, front and rear. You know, I, I went through repainted the wheels as I just showed you, and um, this is also getting, you know, maintenance items. This is getting, you know, fuel lines. Because, uh, seven, three things. So it's got a fuel priming issue. This old seven, three right here. So I got everything to rebuild the fuel filter housing, all new fuel lines, fuel return lines, everything up in here. It's going to get new belts. These are in rough shape. But, you know, another truck that had a lack of maintenance until I got it. And unfortunately now, at the same time as the flatbed being down, this is getting all the work too. So I am a tow company without tow trucks at this current time, but it happens, you know, you get that sometimes. So this is getting all new front brakes, rear brakes are fine, parking brake works. And uh, at some point I gotta go through and fix all the rot on this bed. This is really the only spot, right here, right here, and then uh, that cross member, I don't know if you can see it, but that's in poor shape as well. Other than that, this truck is uh, good to go. I had to order tires, so I was still waiting for those to come in. But um, yeah, so fortunately, both of the trucks are down. That's okay, like I said, it happens. Can't be too uh, too upset with it because that is life but we're gonna get back to making videos once this truck is all set and uh, like I said I got a video coming for you guys made a big purchase and I'm pretty excited about that it's a project so um, you know you guys will be seeing a lot of it hopefully gonna be able to uh, get that truck all sorted out for the summer and put it to work so yeah that's about a little bit about what's been going on here and sorry for not posting videos, but life happens. And uh, like I said, once this truck gets put back in service, I will start making videos. You know, at least I'm gonna try to make, you know, one to two videos a week. And uh, yeah, well, thank you. So uh, that was everything going on here with all the trucks. Um, you know, I hope that answered some of your questions. I had a couple of people messaging me asking what was going on. And uh, that's it. So trucks, trucks broken down, getting them fixed up. Unfortunately, they're just things that take a lot of time. And time is something that we all don't have enough of, as most of you know. But once these trucks are back together, we will be back to making videos, back to having fun, and back to uh, making helpful tips and informational videos. So thank you for sticking with it. And I hope you guys uh, enjoy these videos to come. All right, I'll see ya.